Welcome to Corvallis, Oregon, in the house Ocho Cinco and Hush Banzana built. Reacher Stadium, home to the Oregon State Beavers. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the UNLV Rebels, taking on the winners of three straight, the Oregon State Beavers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. will kick it away first. And he takes this from inside the five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. So the Oregon State Beavers offense will get the first crack at it here. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Using the quick game, and he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking for room. It's McMillan. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. And the Beavers are on the move. Running back searching for a hole. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Right back to the well. He makes the tackle at the 37. It's a pickup of five. That's good enough for a first down. The Beavers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Back to pass. It's Gobranson. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. It's now first and 10 from the 24-yard line. They think they can create space here with the run to the right. Stop is made almost immediately, give him one to the 23. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Now the play fake. He finds a soft spot in the middle. And that completion good for a short game, but they still have some work to do to pick up the first down. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Didn't get much, picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. Oh, and it's, it's a fake. The kicker wants to throw it. And I guess they thought they'd find the field goal block team napping. They were wide awake, and they come up with the stop. So the UNLV Rebels offense will have its first possession of the game. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Pushes the pile for a couple of yards down at the 12. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. He lobs one high down the left side. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. And the Rebels will send out the punt unit. 
Yes, the first one of the day off and hoping he's not as busy as he was in that loss last week when he kicked it four times. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. They'll run it from the gun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Dropping back, it's Gold Branson. Makes the grab on the left. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback made himself at home in the pocket until the defense finally raided his house. Down he goes. Quarterback sacks is a trend that this offense would like to put an end to pretty quick. Somehow they were able to win their last game out, even though they gave up four sacks in that one. That was a huge point of emphasis for this coaching staff. And here early in this one, first quarter, they've now already given up one. The Beavers will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. They're bringing him. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, and they get the ball back, but that's just going to make it much tougher on this drive. Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. They're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. He'll off one deep down the left side. In the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Passing the defense. 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 Thought he had the huge play with the interception. Instead, Neb for P.I., and it'll be first down for this offense. The inside handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Takes the handoff. It's Thomas. Sweet feet on the move. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go, and he did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. The Rebels send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's Card. Makes a move. Good job by the coverage team, and that's how we'll end the period. It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale. Well, based on that, we can hope to see a little more offensive explosion here in the second quarter as we get ready to get things started. Off the play fake on first down. He's going to throw deep right side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Back to throw. It's Go Branson. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to him. 
Man, that's a great example of KYP. Know your personnel. A QB that doesn't run great, trying to get outside of the pocket. Nice job by the defense applying pressure and running him down and getting the huge loss. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Pressure coming. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. And the Beavers Number will punt this one away. Three and out roll. and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Slips through the line. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards, get some first downs, get some positive momentum. Offense gets set for second down. The give to the back. And a decent gain there before the defense makes a stop. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. Fires deep toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. And the Rebels will line up to punt it away. And the punt hits ground at the two and goes into the end zone. He just missed, pinning them right in the shadow of the goalpost. It'll come out to the 20. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Got stuffed on first down. Now it's second and 10 from their own 20. Looking downfield, it's Gobranson. Trying to get... And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Man, those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Still on his feet. And this defense is bringing the heat. Another sack. Great job by the pass rush up front. Third and long situation. They're anticipating pass, and they know the quarterback's going to have to hold on to the football. Nice job pinning their ears back and getting home. The Beavers will try to pin them back with the punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He gets it away from his own end zone. Feels the punt and try to pick up some yards. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Not the most productive half in this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Pirouettes away from the defense. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Brought down at the 30-yard line. It's a gain of six. 
This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. The Rebels getting set on first and 10. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Quick strike complete. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, UNLV. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, Dave, and hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy. The connection between quarterback, wide receiver, you can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. On to attempt the try. The kicker is on for the extra point. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7 nothing to start this one. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Georgia Tech has been almost unstoppable today offensively. Between the game plan and the play calling and the execution, it's been near perfection. They're up 14 over Notre Dame. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. One big play, and now they've got it at the 42-yard line on first down. Looking to throw, it's Go Branson. Finds a soft spot in the middle. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The run from the shotgun. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Third down, and they'll need to get the ball to the 38-yard line. Getting some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. The Beavers line up to punt it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Looking for a crease, it's Thomas. They knock him down right there. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. On second down, he'll fire. Snagged in the middle, it's Thomas. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And the Rebels decide to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. On the return, it's Card. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. Shoots it to the left. Complete downfield. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. 
to throw. It's Gobranson. He's got his man. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Dialing up a second down pass play. Grab near the marker. It's Carr. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. He's looking to throw it. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. And back to the air on second down. Coming after him. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And the Beavers will call on their punt team. And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. They're going to open this drive with a pass. That's the kind of protection you dream about as he fires left. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Well, even though that was an incompletion, I wouldn't be surprised if this secondary wants to start playing deeper coverages because this offense has shown that they're willing to be aggressive. They've got a lot of speed. This defense cannot... Fires toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. One more snap coming before halftime. On third down, going up top. Going back to the well, another deep ball. It's incomplete, but here comes the flag, and I think it's going to be a first down. Defense. Defense. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. What a disappointment. No good. And the margin remains at seven after the minute. in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one from there in Corvallis. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas inside Reeser Stadium. The Beavers will boot it away to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're, you're leading on the screen. Brings it down on the right side. Open runway ahead. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Rebel. Really nice job working the route, getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year.
Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. That one's going to get a little star marked beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Paul, we're kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great. So I know offensively, I got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. They'll throw it on first down. He's got his man. The Beavers racing to the line in the hurry up. Using his legs, it's Hankerson. They bring him down and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Lofts one high and deep. And he makes the catch inside the 25. And the Beavers are moving quickly down the field. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws, just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. Man, this poor quarterback, he's got no time. you got to protect your quarterback. you got to find different ways to do it. Sometimes it's not working with four wide receivers. Maybe you bring in a couple tight ends, go max protection, more guys blocking, less guys in routes, but you got to find something to have success. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. To the ground with the back. Finds a crease at the 20. Hard-hitting tackle. The Beavers are threatening in the red zone. Looking downfield, it's Branson. Unleashes to the end zone. And the pass is intercepted. Well, I give the defense a lot of credit because they weren't able to get a lot of pressure on the quarterback, but the back end of the defense did an outstanding job staying with their receivers. They knew tonight they were going to have to be able to run stride for stride with some of these targets, and they did on that play getting the pick. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Oh, look out. There he goes. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Well, the defense knew coming into this one, Reese, that this team was going to try to use their speed and take advantage of it, and they did right there. Nice gain on the run play to the right. Found plenty of running room in that defense. They've got to find a way to get there, make the tackle in the open field. Yeah, and they got to do a good job with their eyes, finding the football, and they've got to get a lot of bodies to this guy because he is fast. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. They'll run it from the gun. Got it inside the 30 before he's finally pulled down at the 25. It's a gain of six. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Out of the gun, the inside give. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Third and long coming from the 27-yard line. You can make a field goal from here. Just don't take a negative play. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. And it's no good. He missed it. Missed 
missed a field goal, but still a two touchdown lead of 14. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. Finds his man, and he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30th, third and short. Dropping back, it's Gobranson. Trying to escape and get it himself. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Beavers come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll try the run. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. On second down, they'll take to the air. And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. They're trying to get to him. It's complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and ten. They believe they can run right here. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. Well, another incompletion, and you can see the frustration building, but you got to give the defense credit. They came into this one knowing no one was giving them a shot because of their record, because of what their stats are on paper, but they're playing better football. They're playing with better effort, and right now they're making the most play. Let's it fly deep downfield. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. And there is a degree of difficulty with this one. A 47-yarder from the right half. He tried to give it enough body English, but he missed it. Guys, the missed field goal and nothing changes. Still a 14-point game. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Caught close to the marker, it's Allen. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Rebels want to move quickly. First down for the offense. They'll go to the ground. Runs through a tackle. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And here comes the offense on second down. Looking to pass. It's O'Neal. It's complete. Makes a grab and he's dragged down. They've got to get the football to the 32 to pick up the first down. Off the play fake. 
showing the arm straight down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. And the Rebels will bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. Hand off from the shotgun. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and UNLV has the edge. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. They're getting this guy lathered up. Finds his way for three after the 33. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And the defense loves being in this type of situation, right? You've got a big lead. It's in the fourth quarter. You know the opponent's going to be throwing the football, so you get your best pass rushers coming off the edge, using that speed, dipping and ripping, getting to the quarterback for another big play. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking for a man. It's Go Branson. They're bringing heat. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. The name of the game is protecting your quarterback. He can't have success or complete passes on his back. Let's get the quick passing game going, maybe hand the football off. But whatever we're doing, let's go the opposite direction. And the Beavers will send out the punt unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. He gets a block. Little pressure on the coverage team there, and they'll stop him at the 47-yard line. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. Oh, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Let's see what they do on third down. Off play action. And they got him for the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, an offense you're hoping the run fix is going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. The Rebels will punt it away on fourth down. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And you couldn't ask for much more than that. A perfectly placed punt pins them inside the five. From the gun, give on the inside. That's a way to get some breathing room. He's got five out to the nine-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Dropping back, it's Go Branson. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Throws to the wideout. And this is going to be incomplete on third. The Beavers send out the punt unit. Number 37 in punt formation to kick it away. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. He's got great speed. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. Here comes the option. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football, so he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? 
And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Feeling some heat. He'll try to do it himself. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. No good. Missed the field goal. Missed the chance to make it a three-possession game, but still a 14-point lead. And man, this kicker is now 0 for 3 in this game, and you got to wonder what his confidence is like right now. He's cost his team nine points so far. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. He's going up top. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. Looking for a man. It's Branson. Pocket starts to collapse. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. The Beavers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Unloads to the wideout. He got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. After the misfire now on second down. He's looking to throw. And the pass hits, picked off. Looking for more room. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. Wide out in motion. Little touch pass to the receiver. Creates a little room. Oh, look out! The tag! He was off to the races, and they finally get him down at the five-yard line. How many ways can I get to my guys who can fly, who are playmakers, and let them make big plays? This is another one you've seen. Catch the football, flip it ahead really quickly, get it to a burner, go in full speed across the formation. He gets the edge, makes the big three. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. They're going to run it. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, UNLV. Boy, do they need that score. Gave them a little cushion as they try to put a stop to this two-game slide. When these offenses get in a rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. So the officials take a closer look and the replay booth will overturn the call. They believe in their running game on third and goal here. Touchdown, Rebels! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Number nine. That one puts them in really good shape to get back on the right track and get another W. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead. Now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation. It built. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. 
and he missed it. No good. Missed the field goal, but still a two-touchdown lead at 14. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him, too, David. I think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. They're setting up the screen. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Hankerson. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up at this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. Pressure coming. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And the Beavers are in the hurry up. Most offensive coordinators want to be really aggressive on second and short. And I love the quarterback here. He drops back the pass thinking being aggressive. Nothing available. Scramble. Give me an easy first down. And that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. Now second and ten. Looking to throw, it's Branson. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. They've started a pretty good drive. This will be the seventh play, but they need to convert third and five. From the gun, wants to pass. Unleashes one deep. And they almost came up with that pick in the end zone. What a stop that would have been. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Trying to get to it. And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. Yeah, and now trailing with a little over two minutes, it's looking bleak. My defense has got to go out there, get a stop immediately. I got to stop the clock as fast as I can, try to save as much as I can and then put my two-minute offense together. There's a lot that has to go right for me to get back in this ballgame. Looking for a productive play on first down. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. The defense, obviously, at this point is trailing. They need to get the football back. They're expecting run. They know the offense is going to try and bleed the clock, so you've got to be good at the point of attack. They were right there. They gave up nothing on that run. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll give it to the back. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. And he's brought down, but the defender got a face full of stiff arm before he picked up that first down. And with things in their favor on the scoreboard, the quarterback's favorite play in the playbook. The old kneel down from victory formation. This was hardly an offensive juggernaut, but sometimes you lean on your defense and grind out a win. 
This was a defensive struggle, no doubt about it, but we know this is a team game, and the defense certainly did what they needed to do. The offense just barely did enough. That's the important part, David, moving forward. They're going to have to play better on that side of the ball. I think it looked more like an offensive struggle, not a defensive struggle. They definitely brought their A game, but listen, all you needed was enough points. Win, advance, build some confidence, find some things with this offense down the road that you do better. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.